My name is Amber Robles Gordon. I am an artist, uh, also curator, and member of Black Artists of DC. The name of this show is Convergence of Vision, The Power of Art. Uh, this is a collaboration between two entities, uh, the Prince George's Com Prince George's Community College and uh, the perfect plan of Greater Washington. Black Artists of DC is about a community of artists and those who appreciate art. Uh, we range from age in terms of uh, very experienced artists and as well as uh, youngsters from around eight or nine, uh, children of the artists who are raised in the art. Um, and in terms of the experience, we have you know, graphic designers, we have uh, painters, uh, photographers, ceramicists, sculptors. We have a serious range, and not only in terms of the people who actually uh, make the art, but also people who support the arts. The first piece I'd like to talk about is uh, by Frank Smith, who is an Afrocobra member, also a um, Howard alumni. And the title is called Poppy's Lost Stocking Quilt. As you can see, he is a, a quilter. Uh, applique, this is applique embroidered and quilted. If you look in here, it's got gloves and, and tape, and it's a tremendous piece. And one of the others is right there. Um, then we have beside him, we have Bill Harris. The title of this piece is called Rever Revise Bird Image. Bill is also a uh, alumni of Howard University. Um, and this particular piece is a painted, painted canvas over wood. The next piece is by an artist, uh, Ethiopian artist, very talented Ethiopian artist, named Mekibib Gurb Sadiq. <laughs> it is titled Katrina, and it's definitely an abstract realism piece. Um, a tremendous piece, and actually this is, I believe this is one of the ones that won Best in Show for painting. The next piece is Leonie Foster's. Leonie actually started out as a doll maker. He is a, what we consider a fiber artist. He deals with uh, anything that's other than paper. Uh, so that means silk, um, wool. Uh, this particular piece is called A Warning. This is actually one of my favorites because it speaks to uh, global warning. It speaks to what we're doing to our environment and, and warning uh, society of what can happen or what is happening. Uh, this is a mixed media digital painting, uh, collage on silk. This piece is, uh, belongs to Dedra Bell. This Dedra is, was actually a doll maker, and as you can see, she brings out those forms here, still having them in her art. Uh, she's actually a, a currently a graduate student at Howard, uh, a sculpture student. Uh, the piece is called Hold On A While, Brother. It's a mixed media piece, uh, handmade paper. She also, she can be considered a fiber artist if you look in there, uh, the wood and the wool on top of uh, her image. Then beside it, we also have her ceramic glazed vase. And, and Dedra, this is Dedra's famous face. As I said earlier, she was definitely a very prominent uh, doll maker. Here we have Michael Platt. Uh, the name of this piece is Enough. This is a pigment print. Michael is also an alumni of Howard and a current Howard uh, teacher. He teaches digital media. Uh, this piece is referring to the, uh, the issue of uh, Katrina, or the tragedy of Katrina. You, uh, this is the debris around the image, um, the image of the woman. Um, if you look at this piece, it, the depth in this piece is tremendous. Uh, Michael does not want to consider himself a, a photographer, but he is definitely a uh, digital painter. In addition to the things that I mentioned, this, this uh, piece is actually one best composition in the whole show. This is titled The Silky Jazzy Blues. The artist is uh, Francine Haskin. She is one of our seasoned artists, very, very talented woman. Um, I would also consider her a textile artist or fiber artist. She deals with canvas. This is a mixed media um, a piece, acrylic on canvas, and it's also silk. And also, if you look in here, there's a computer um, digital image that she imposed. And there's actually three layers of this piece. Um, Francine is just tremendous with uh, textures and patterns, and um, she, her pieces have such dimension. If you look, there's, there's many stories or many diagrams happening inside of this image. And if you look in terms of the border, 
Uh, no need for framing this, this fantastic piece. She, her work expands to the edge and beyond. Hi, I'm Harley Little. I'm a photographer. I've been a photographer for the past 35 years. Uh, this is um, a series of portraits of men in a group called the Jazz Listening Group. Uh, these men have formed a community. They're all, many of them are well recognized individually, but as a community, uh, you don't hear very much about um, a community of nurturing black men. That's not quite what you, you know, our stereotype is. So we've, we've photographed these communities in order to give light to who they are, what they do, and something uh, to try to capture something about the essence of, the, of these men. I like the black tones. Uh, I like defined light. Um, and in, in these settings, I just want to see what's, what uh, I can capture of the emotion of the moment. For more information on Black Artists of D.C., contact 202-742-6467 or online at blackartistsofdc.org. <laughs>